The database I'll be discussing in this video is Opposing Viewpoints, which is part of the Gale in Context family. To get to this database, there are two ways. One is on campus through our library website. Select Articles and Databases on the left-hand side menu. You'll get an alphabetical list of our databases, and you want to look for O, Opposing Viewpoints, and make your selection there. The other method is through Access Rio, and this is if you are off campus. Make sure you are logged in, select library on the left-hand side menu. Again, you will see the databases listed in alphabetical order and select opposing viewpoints to open up the database. Opposing Viewpoints is a database that focuses on hot topic issues and controversial issues that are currently happening in the world. It also provides viewpoint articles. Uh, when you enter the database, you'll notice here there's a search bar and an advanced search option. We'll come back to these later. You'll also notice near the top there is browse issues, title list, search history, get link, highlights and notes, and we'll come back to some of those as well. As you scroll down, you'll notice issues of interest. These are uh, issues that are currently popular or that can be of interest to you. So there's mass media, uh, infectious diseases, and of course, COVID-19. This is the big one. Uh, and this is the one that will be front and center. You can always click on explore this topic to learn more. I'm gonna scroll down to browse issues. And when you come down here, you'll notice that the way the topics are organized is by categories. So business and econ, energy and environmentalism, health and medicine, war and diplomacy, etc. Next to each one of these categories is a number. This is the number of topics within this category. So there are 128 topics related to business and econ. And when I click on this, it will take me to that full list of 128 topics. What's listed here below are three sample topics of what's within business and econ. You'll also notice there are a lot of red boxes that either say updated or say new. So one of the advantages to databases is the fact that they are constantly being updated with new articles, things that are recently published, and so they like to let you know in this database when a topic has been updated recently. I'm gonna go back up to the top, and I'm actually gonna click on Browse Issues, which is this little magnifying glass here. And what that does is actually open up every single topic within the database listed in alphabetical order. So starting with numbers, and then starting with A, and then when you scroll down, you'll see it goes to F, come back up on the next column, it continues with F, and et cetera, going all the way down to Z. And you can see all of the topics that have been recently updated with their red boxes that say updated or possibly new topics, such as birthright citizenship. So if you are looking for a specific topic and it is listed here, you can select your topic and open up the viewer. I'm going to go ahead and select infectious diseases just as an example and because this is of course a very hot topic right now and to show you what the viewer looks like. So the first thing you're going to see is a summary of the topic listed at the top typically with an image accompanying it and you can always click read more and it will take you to a full summary of this topic. I'm going to go back because I want to see what article types there are related to this topic. Now it'll tell you here on this page, there are featured viewpoint articles, academic journal articles, images, magazine articles, viewpoint articles, videos, statistics, primary sources, audio files, websites, reference articles, and newspaper articles. I can also select related topics. For each of these source types, there is a number, 
next to them. This is how many items or articles there are for that particular source type. Very important in these source types is understanding what reference is. Reference is referring to encyclopedia and dictionary entries. So keep in mind that reference is not going to provide you with a viewpoint or potentially any research. Uh, it more likely than not is going to give you a straight definition or factual information about the topic. So very important to know that if you don't already know that, if you're looking for specific types of information or sources. It's always important to know what your professor is looking for, so always ask them what sorts types are okay to use for your research assignment. Now, if I select one of these, such as academic journals, it will automatically open up a new page with all of the academic journal articles listed related to this topic. There are 5,810. They are originally sorted by relevance, so how relevant it is to the topic at hand. I can also change the sort to newest, so the most recent articles will be shown at the top. So this one here was published yesterday, March 31st. I can also select by document title, so in alphabetical order, or by content level. Content level is the reading level of the article which I'll explain a little bit more in a second. Now, looking at the details of these results, the first thing you'll see is the article title, the author, what publisher or journal it can be found in, if there's a volume and issue, and because we are in academic journals, it is showing us that this is a peer-reviewed article. It also gives the publication date, how many words, what type of source this is, so this is an article, and this is the reading level, the Lexile level, and the content level is level five. This is the most difficult reading level that there is. I can scroll through and look at the results. As you see, there are multiple pages because there are 5,000 articles, but I can also use the filters to help me figure out which articles I want and which ones I don't. So if I am looking specifically for academic peer-reviewed journal articles, which some professors will require you to only have these types of sources, then I can check off this box, peer-reviewed, to make sure that that is the only type of source that is given to me. Then on the rest of the filters here, I can select by publication date, there are some presets here. I can select articles from the past week, from the past month, from the past year, or I can also type a specific uh, date range. So I can select a particular year or a couple of years if I want, and then I could click apply to narrow that down. So I'm gonna say the past year, just as an example. And that took me down to 500 articles. I can also filter by subjects. So you'll see here there are many subjects that are listed for this topic, such as medical research, epidemics, infection, influenza, genomics, and there's a number next to them, so those are the number of articles that are directly related to that particular subject. I can select any one of these and it will eliminate everything else. Another filter is document type. So you'll notice that there are different document types in these academic journals. Some of these are articles, but there are other types as well. There are book reviews and overviews and case studies and brief articles or reports and clinical reports. So you always wanna make sure you know what type of source you can use for your research. Typically, article is always going to be your safest bet. You never want to use book reviews. Those will never have any 
significant content for your research. Reports may or may not be useful, uh, depending again on what type of research you're doing and what source type your professor allows. I'm going to go ahead and include them here and click apply. You can also filter by publication title. So this is the publisher of the article. If that matters to you in your research, you can narrow down that way. Also, if you're looking for a particular type of Lexile measure or reading level, you can always select that as well. The reading level is over here with content. So a level five is a 1300 Lexile and up. This is the most academic, the highest academic level of reading. A level one would be the most basic. And if you wanted to search within the articles a particular keyword, you could do that as well. And now it's just a matter of looking through your results and selecting an article.